right, I am back. What? Uh, all right, we're fixing things because I, I broke everything as, as one does. All the things are broken. Um, so this this is definitely wrong. Um, HTTP method. All oh, right, so this is right, 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 right. So task request is not the task. It is a struct that represents um, the details that we need to pass in to build the task. And we also need the same fields here. HTTP method. Um, let's see. How do I want to do this? Request here is a task request. Ah, so there it must be a handler. Handlers for the task endpoint. I don't suppose, yeah, we use task request here as well. Good. To describe the uh, the input, the body is passed to create handler. And uh, then to call create task with those details. Okay. And then create task takes us back. What's oh, over here? Hmm. And, and we see the error here, right? Because we're missing fields. So that's good. Uh, I'm just, I want to make sure that I'm not missing a place where something needs to be added, right? So in here, uh, I guess what I want to do is I want to do request method put. Uh, wait, no, for this, it's going to be post. Then payload transformer none. Okay. So the, the thing I need to do here is I need to copy um, so those fields that I added to task to. Hmm. So should task request lived over in this other file then? Task worker because we're going to need the same serialization and deserialization stuff because the, ta the request task, or task request, whatever it's called, uh, gets serialized to be sent over the wire uh, to the task API. So I think that this task request also needs to live in here. The same fields. Yes. Uh, there we go. All right. And then still lots of problems there, but one less problem. Uh, okay. And so oh, we don't use task request here, so that's that's fine. Just going to break this file. Because now this is, uh, let's see, task worker lib. Am I already referring to task worker? Here I am. Aha. Cool. Okay. So, uh, no errors in this file, so nothing to update file, I think. This doesn't really care about the details of like the like what's in a task request. It just works. And then whatever's in here. The task template, we 
you need to pass through. Um, let's see. How does this work? Oh, I see. Okay, so this is the, the thing that handles um, reading the hash map from Redis to build the test template. And it's recursive. So there are fields in task template. There's HTTP, HTTP method, and there is payload transformer. And we can do this. This actually might might be a good way of doing this. So we check to see if HTTP method is one of the fields in the hash map one of the keys. If there is, if it's not there, we just default to post. Otherwise we use a request method from bytes. Uh, and we trace an error and default to post if that fails for whatever reason. So I think that that's probably fine. And then for payload transformer, um, if it's there, we parse it. Um, yeah. And if it's not there, then it's done. Oh shit, it is, it is optional. So there we go. So that's one set of problems. Okay, here we're doing the same thing, but for tasks. So we're trying to read the whole task from the hash map that we read from Redis. And we essentially need to do the same thing. Um, I am not thrilled about the idea of repeating more <laughs> logic. Can we, here's a, here's a thought, can this be extracted and can refactor extract into a function? We can rename. Here's a fun thing in Copilot. You can uh, get suggestions for the name of this. So do you deserialize uh, payload transformer? And then same thing here. Now this is this is already duplicating some of the logic we have going on elsewhere, which is not great. I think um, I don't know if there's a better way to do this. I mean, I guess what we could do is we could take the hash map and convert it to JSON, just like a JSON object, and then deserialize using the existing Sturdy stuff on the struct. Uh, I, I'm not thrilled about that idea either, so I'm just going to do this for now. I, I would like to use the same verb here. Then down here, I can leverage those functions to do the same thing. Okay, why, why does one take a reference? Uh, why is this one borrowed and that one isn't? Is this, is this acceptable? Ah, but Pat, okay, that's why. So um, I probably want both to be the same way then. Uh, 
have them both borrow. this back I'll put this back are we seems like that's all good all right moving on so in this we're creating a task so I'm gonna have to add yet more parameters. Uh, this is this is this is seeming a bit smelly at this point as a kind of a construction, um, but we're already kind of in the middle of a big kind of like rearrangement. So I don't think I want to refactor how this is working quite yet. Uh, what do I need here? I need the HD method and I need the payload transformer and then uh, I just pass this in oh we're missing uh there we go. uh rust doesn't have default um defaults like this does it Okay, and then one more error in this file, and then many more errors. We're actually kind of propagating out the errors, right? Because like that function signature I just changed is gonna break some other things. We're just kind of like propagating the change out. Uh, so in this file, this is update task status. So this takes task and then calls publish task status, which decided it was gonna take a task. Um, and we're effectively cloning this task. Why don't I, I mean, why doesn't, Is there is there a compact way to like clone a task and then populate certain fields with uh, overwritten values? Like in you know a TypeScript, you would just like spread task and then add additional like over overwritten fields. Um, Rust. How would I search for that? Clone, struct, and replace fields. So there's a question asked four years ago, do 2000 times and there are no answers, just many comments. Oh, well, I, I guess I could, you know, set the, I could do that. not as concise as what I would otherwise do, but we can do, um, we're not using task beyond this. So I guess I can just say let task equals task that clone. Can I do that? Can I kind of refer to it? Uh, right hand refers to the existing task and then I override task and I can do task dot, um, status task status task dot uh, last updated is now and otherwise everything is you know passed through the same right so then I can give this 
Uh, oh, right, 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 right. So let. There you go. We gotta say it's mutable if we're gonna mutate it. And that uh, is a little bit more concise and less duplicative, and also means I don't have to change this every time I change one of the fields instead of task. Uh, and then we have some warnings. Uh, this function has too many arguments. I agree. Uh, we should do something about that. I'm glad. So we'll, we'll keep track. You know, we have warnings. Actually, a lot of warnings once we get through the errors. Um, so we'll be able to come back to that. But for now, that file is done. And what else did I break? Well, task template now is missing things. All right, because this is this is the new stuff. So let's model how this needs to work, right? So there needs to be a HTTP method, which is put for our uh, endpoint here. I'm gonna move the URL to live next to this. And then payload transformer uh, is not, it's not, it's not a function. So you're just wrong compiler. <laughs> it's a nice attempt. Uh, so we'll do vec and um, we want to say how to transform the payload, right? How to take the payload that is in uh, wherever it is and build task payload. So at this point, we want to apply the transformer. In fact, I'm just going to to do by payload transformers. There we go. Um, so in this case, what I want to do is I want to select this value from the payload and it needs to go somewhere. Uh, so we do payload transform. And then the fields are source JSON path a nice attempt. Or it should be something like that. And then destination key is um, something. Uh, this would be the name of the field. Oh, right. We know this. It's YouTube video ID. Now, here's a question. So Let's let's wait for all this to catch up. Yeah, it doesn't like that, right? Because we have a a, uh, a string slice, and it expects it a string. So the question is, do I want this to be uh, str? Yeah, we don't have a lifetime specifier if we do it this way. What is the uh, Can we do this is a question. Do I want to do this is the other question. So that will make this happy. Um, now we have to provide a lifetime uh, everywhere else. If I do that and I don't want to. Can I do this? Is this valid? Does that break anything else? Yes, it does. Okay, well, we go back to strings then. And that means that When I'm building uh, over here, this needs to do the thing that Copilot was trying to do anyway. There we go. So the idea here is this rep is representing the idea of taking the uh, previous task data uh, and putting it in the YouTube video ID field 
and then we want to take the I think we do one more thing right so because we need the episode id so we do payload transform hmm No, we don't need the episode ID from the from that because it's in the URL in this case. So I don't think we need anything else. I think it's just that. So this basically tells the um, task worker how to transform the result. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be valid. Let's let's go a little bit simpler. Um, actually, so I was thinking we might need something more fancy, but for now, instead of saying we're going to use JSON path, let's just do keys. Um, and so we're just going to like grab one key, uh, and turn it into a different key. Um, and that's going to be way simpler to implement and I won't have to use an external library. We'll just do something like that. And, uh, yeah, so what's what's unhappy in this file now? Oh yeah, task template. So now when we build task template, uh, we have to specify these things. Uh, I don't need that though, so it's none. Um, so I still need to do the thing that I set out to do when we started working in this area, which is to do um, add the sync video ID task to the task chain. There we go. So that, that's what I need to do. Um, I'm, I'm just going to go fix all the errors first. Uh, and then what we can do is we just need some conditional logic here that says like, um, I think what I'll probably do is I'll do something like, um, let's, let's actually, let's, Let's do this part because I think this will be more satisfying, even though it won't work without fixing all the errors. And then we can go through and fix all the errors. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do a let um, so I'm not going to I'm not going to call this variable update playlist task or something like that because I want this to represent the idea of the, the next thing to do after the upload is complete after upload task match and so we're going to check to see do we have yeah this is wrong but what we want we do want to look at the do we have a playlist id uh and i guess i have to clone it because otherwise it gets moved. Yes. I, I'm not sure about that. Let's, let's just try. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if there is none, then we immediately call the, we do the sync video uh, ID task. If there is a playlist ID, um, then we want to use it. So we say some uh, playlist ID. Yep. And then, uh, well, we already have this this part here. So we'll take this, and this moves up here. Um, this just becomes after upload task. Uh, some after upload task. <laughs> it's an optional thing. Uh, and let's see. So, playlist ID here, playlist position, vector, yada, yada, yada. Um, except next task here is this. 
So if we do need to upload, like um, modify the playlist after that's done, we do sync video ID task. Now this is going to complain. We don't have, um, what's the problem? Clip he's running. Unless the D is interpreted as a unix struct, uh, not a new binding. Oh, right. Oh, right, because like we're saying self dot playlist ID here, but I guess that playlist ID is also a thing in scope that is also the same thing. Yeah. And then this, oh yeah, needs to be some. Here we go. From. Um, shouldn't be a problem. Mismatch types. Expect this struct box of uh, task template. Ah. What is the oh option box? template okay some box we do that it'd be cool if you could like update the uh Okay, let's close the file. How about now? Okay, cannot move out of self playlist ID as enum variant sum, which is behind shared reference. Move occurs because a new playlist ID has type string, which does not implement the copy trait. Consider borrowing here. Okay, so if I borrow self playlist ID, are we good? And then. Says to try to string, so I'll try that. How about now? Okay. Um, it's interesting, right? Because I'm I'm seeing a three here, three problems in this file, but it, oh, they're down here. Okay. So add video to playlist. Expected str found playlist ID. What on earth? This error doesn't seem to be relevant. Ask handlers YouTube. Introduce a new binding instead. Oh, right. What it's complaining about up above and here, what it was complaining up, up, up and previously, uh, the thing I said before was wrong. <laughs> so this is a problem because playlist ID is also the name of a column and we are importing those column names. Apparently, shouldn't be. That wouldn't have happened when this was in a separate crate. Anyway, okay. Uh, that means that other place, other playlist ID, or new, I think it was new. This one, I think we could get away with just doing this. Yeah. 
I must have typed playlist ID and accepted an autocomplete that auto imported uh, playlist ID from the stuff that's generated by diesel. Um, yeah, so, okay, that's fixed. And we are correctly, theoretically building this chain of tasks to do what? To upload the video, to then do something. And that something is either one, if we have the playlist ID, we upload the video, we attach the video to the playlist. And then we sync the video ID task. We you know, call that task. Or if we don't have a playlist ID, we directly do that. So here's a question like this next task. Oh, right. So here I'm constructing a task task request, but um, here I'm constructing a task template and the task template needs an option of a box of a thing. Whereas the task request just needs an option of a thing. Um, okay. That's why those are different. One could argue that maybe I should change task request to make next, next task have the same type. Um, maybe there's a cleaner way of doing all this. And then regardless, here's the task to actually sync the video ID back to the database. Uh, we're just, we're going to change the title of this to, uh, save video ID. There we go. Um, we're calling the data key summary. I guess that's, that's, that's the same as the other one, which is good because that doesn't matter. Um, there's no data being returned by this task. Um, back to the tasking system. So that's fine. And we construct this URL here. Um, this is also kind of smelly to me right now that like we should, I don't know. I guess this is fine. It's very flexible because we can, we're, we're building a whole, oh, well, more fundamentally, I think the issue is that we're doing string concatenation to build a, a full URL and we probably shouldn't. We should be using something that understands URLs so we don't end up with extra slashes that might break things, uh, URL encode things, whatnot. Um, we have our payload transformer that tells us how to take the payload and transform it. Uh, I think uh, let's see what else we've broken. And then the last thing to do right now will be to um, update the worker to uh, actually to uh, do use the payload transformer. Okay, so what's broken here? So we have create task and we need to take the task template and call create task with it. This also probably should be like a, um, a from or a try from um, implementation to go from the task template to the next task and basically get rid of create task as a thing, maybe. Um, but the signature for this is HTTP method H B T. Uh, oh, right, right, right. This is not, uh, okay. So next task template, HTTP method, HTTP method and next test template dot, uh, payload transformer. Does that work? Nope, because that would be moving a thing. So can we clone this? Is it clonable? Yes. How about this. There we go. All right. Let's see if Clippy is happy with that. Uh, okay. And then, so task at HTTP method is. Um, is being moved here. I don't suppose requests can take a borrowed method. Are there are multiple implementations of requests. No. I guess I clone method then.
All right. Uh, so this file is good, I guess. And then here, this is also wrong uh, now. So this is, there's another place where we should probably have like a from implementation um, to go from task request to task, but we don't. So we do body dot HTTP, HTTP method and body dot um, payload. Is that right? The question is, does the task request? I think we updated the task request. All oh, right, right, because we moved, we moved it to the other file, so at least all the structs would be next to each other. Uh, and then what's this complaining about? Uh, unresolved import. Oh, yeah, we moved it. Uh, let's wait for Clippy to finish and we should be good. We are not good. <laughs> uh, no field payload trans transformers. Yeah. How about payload transformers? Nope, not a thing. Payload transformer clone. Okay. I guess I thought singular was, was good. Uh, there's still a few more errors. So in silence detection, which is another place where we're creating tasks, um, we're creating a task request. We just, we're, we don't need any of the new functions. So we're just going to, uh, do that. Could not find, all oh, right. So we moved task request to not live in task anymore. So we need to import it from task worker. And that leaves one error here. Same thing. We moved it to a different file. All right. Also, apparently not using serialize there. All right, because we, we yeah, okay. So And we have 64 warnings, which already is at 59 of them are in FF probe because uh, we, I, like I implemented a struct to mirror what FF probe return, but we're not actually using these anywhere. Um, is there a way to shut this up? Um, I mean, I feel like Warn Dead Code does the thing it's already doing. Can we turn that off? No. I don't know how to I don't know how to do that. So Google Trust Turn Off Dead Code Warning. Uh, Stack Overflow says allow dead code. Cool. May we please allow dead code? All right. Uh, and then same thing over here. It's on purpose. FF probe disposition. I didn't. I didn't notice these things were on here. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, and then I'm just gonna do the same thing for the rest of them because the point is, this is just like the definition of all of the the fields that are available. Uh, so it's not a problem if some of them are unused. Is there one more warning somewhere? Okay. That takes us down to five. Um, yeah, filter map, too many arguments. Topic IDs, I should do something about that. Topic IDs were my idea of like a tagging system for this. Uh, and I've just never got around to it. Uh, so what, what about that to do? This is the last part is apply payload transformers. So this is a lot simpler than the version I was imagining because um, 
I was imagining like using JSON path. That would be kind of my go-to thing, but it doesn't need to be that complicated yet. So let's let's keep it simple. Uh, and Copilot has written something for me, and I think this might work. Basically, if the task has a payload transformer, if it if it doesn't, we don't want to do anything. Just let everything pass through. That means the existing behavior works the exact same. In the same way that if we didn't have an HTTP method um, in the record in Redis, it would default to post and everything would work the same way. So if we do have it, then we iterate over payload transformer, getting all the transformers. We read the source and destination key, which is kind of unnecessary. Like, can we just like do that and, then, and, and that? And then this is a two liner. No, you don't like that. Okay. Can we can we borrow this here? Which was the same thing that I was doing before, except without an intermediate variable. Yes. So we make a copy of the value here and we put it there. Uh, can I remove? Like, I don't want the transform. So I want to actually move the value or potentially I could just build a new payload um, value and populate it instead. Can we payload? Is there like a remove or a delete? Hmm. What does take do? Take the value out of value, leaving a null in this place. That's ex not exactly the same thing. Is it not being there at all though? If only there was a remove. Copilot inventing a, a thing that would be nice if such a thing existed. Uh, okay. So. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say else. Uh, payload. Oops. Payload. Uh, if, if we are doing the payload transformer, I'm just going to build a new payload. Uh, we're going to do let mute, mute uh, new payload uh, or transformed payload. Uh, oh, yeah, something like that would be nice, right? Where we have a function that does the work. We pass in a, um, probably just pass in the payload and pass in the transformer. Um, if I do that, then this logic just doesn't live here anymore. It goes like that. Um, and we probably just borrow payload. Then we just need to define this function. Apply payload transformers, which we I mean, this is already wrong, right? Because we've just overridden payload. Um, but we can do um, transforms payload is a value. Object. Can I just do that? Uh, cert I could qualify it as uh, certain JSON value. How do you feel about that? Um, well, that's interesting. Uh, let's see. Can we?
Uh, what's the easiest way to do this? Map? New? Something like that. Consider dereferencing. Oh, right, 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 right. So can we just do this? How, how did we construct the payload over here? How we cloned that. You know what would be easier? Just using the macro. So much easier. All right, and then uh, is I mean we could have done that but that, that's not what I want to do I want to do um, destination key oops, there we go of the transform payload is equal to the payload source key clone yeah we get that and this becomes just one line there and we return that and that I mean I basically had that already up here but I like doing this. What is, what is this? Uh, oh, I see. There should be a vac. Pilot oh, almost got me. So then we return that result if there is a payload transformer. So we only pluck out the fields that are specified by the, the transformer uh, source destination keys. And uh, all the errors went away. So this might actually work. Let's uh, let's try building it. I don't think I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to stop here soon. Go see about some lunch. But um, I, I do wanna thank everyone for hanging out today. Uh, <laughs> Or, uh, just being here. And, uh, we'll have to figure out who we want to raid. But, uh, hey, what form is that? Okay. Checking my phone really quick while I'm talking. Is, uh, look, people, th there are varying levels of ability when it comes to multitasking. And um, I think they're all really bad, <laughs> just, just levels of bad. Um, but you know, attention's wander. All right, so who will we raid today? Is the question. We'll see if the build works while I'm figuring out who we're gonna raid. Check my generally speaking target people for raids who I'm following and generally like try to align with like ideally maybe someone doing Rust development if I can. Get some rotation in there if that's possible. Uh, let's see. Setelix again. Started them not too long ago. Uh, got I like uh, I like Setelix for uh, it's like a, a chill stream. It's got a lot going on. Um, something a little different from what I'm usually doing, but 
Uh, it's got some interesting stuff and a positive attitude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to generate us a raid message while we're still waiting for this build to happen. Let's see if Frosty Tools comes up with something cool for us. Uh, there we go. Uh, let's see. So let's see the second message. Uh, da, da, da. What does that look like? Code to game dev. Code to game dev. <laughs> uh, okay, that, that's a bit excessive. From here. Yeah, that, that seems like a good one. Oh, I see. It's because this title has game dev, game dev, game dev. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, and this is this is his own fault. Right. Anyway, uh, let's go. Um, it looks like the build worked, and it's just restarting everything. So that's really awesome. Uh, we're gonna go kick off this raid. Uh, thanks again, everyone, so much for hanging out today. Um, the next stream is going to be tomorrow. Gonna be doing some uh, more Great Tech New Horizons. Uh, I just need to figure out how to spell this name. L-Y-X. There we go. Uh, and if uh, you want to join us on this raid and uh, uh, share that message, uh, that would be really cool. But uh, yeah, it looks like we're ready to go. So um, thanks for the third time. And until next time, take care. Hope you have a good rest of your week. All right. Bye-bye.